Well, welcome back. And, uh, and this time under the arc lights, we've got uh, Sarah Perry from University of York. And uh, so welcome. Thanks for coming up on our little balcony in the sky here. Thanks for and, having me. And um, you're fresh from doing a session in one of the halls here. I so, do, yes. so, so tell us what that was about and, and how did it go? Yes, I ju literally just behind us, um, it was a session on digital jamming, which was basically introducing people to easy ways of engaging with uh, digital media in the classroom and in other training uh, settings. It was a, it actually went mm, far better than I anticipated. So, oh, really? <laughs> um, so, I so, what, so what, what, went, what went so well? What was, I, um, um, I wanted to do it as an interactive session yeah. so I could actually demonstrate some of the techniques that I use to foster collaboration and get people comfortable with technologies if they don't know how to use any technologies whatsoever. Um, so I split it up into two parts. I only had uh, 10 minutes in total to do the activity and had the group, people wow. find a group <laughs> together. Uh, they had to uh, delegate some roles between them and then uh, identify some of their creative skill sets and then draw a stick figure of themselves. Uh, <laughs> Uh, inhabiting their, <laughs> their creative their creative skill and hence we created little um, uh, stick figure families for each group and then we use that to develop me memes okay. uh, about uh, Digifest so if you check out uh, oh, right. Digifest uh, 17 on Twitter the hashtag you can see some of the memes that they oh, created cool. yeah, it's very cool when we, get, when we get released back into the community we'll go yeah that's right we'll go, we'll, we'll go look at <laughs> so I think this is your first time at, at, at yeah. Did you first? So, so how's it been? What, what, really what great, actually. Um, I came over last night and met some folks at the an icebreaker activity, and immediately was uh, amongst kindred spirits, but from all different disciplines. So I met a sports historian that was very exciting, sure. uh, and an art student. And then uh, I think just the interdisciplinarity of it is quite yeah. is quite is quite great, yeah. and learning from that shared shared practice. So, you're, uh, you're one of our top uh, 50 social media uh, influencers and, uh, and you got nominated for a THE award, I think so. So what do you think it is about, about your practice that, that kind of brings that stuff to the surface? <laughs> it's a tough question, I think. Um, I, I, I feel like perhaps the subject matter, because I'm an archaeologist, is one thing. Okay. So perhaps people immediately assume the past is associated with the past and digital technologies don't necessarily fit um, with it. But all my projects are also fundamentally collaborative and about building concern and care for people through new ways of interacting. So I think that the kind of fundamental human interest okay. in other yeah. humans yes. is, yeah. the, is the thing. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so practically with, with archaeology, how, how do you bring, use technology to bring the subject to life? Um, through a whole bunch of different um, means because my specialty is in actually presenting the past to the public in different ways. So it might be through film or memes, um, it could be through websites or through traditional forms of media like panels, that, like a, you know, a, an interpretive sign that you'd see if you went to a site. Um, yeah. So that whole range of tools and then learning how to be competent in moving back and forth between them because some people might not be able to read so a sign wouldn't work in that. In another case, a sign wouldn't actually stand up because it's in, exposed to the elements or something of that sort. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so it seems like you're super able and you know, no doubt an excellent communicator yes. and en engager <laughs> of, of, um, of, stu uh, of students. But, but so, so why bother? Because technology can be difficult, you know. Yeah. So how, how do you bring that into, into bringing archaeology to life? Do you, do you have to encourage an enthuse or, is, or are your students ready and able wanting? Um, you know what, I think it's come up a couple of times today actually that uh, I think many of the people that I work with are actually really hesitant about using digital tools even though they are they are they are literally using yeah. them all the time for for very many things so I and I fear part of it is uh, 
just worried that you might get it wrong um, yeah. or not, yeah. or you co don't totally have the hand, a handle on it. And or you I might think, not have time. Yeah, or, yeah, there's yeah, an investment, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, That's yeah, right. exactly. Investment. But I think the thing uh, with digital tools in particular, I think that there are a lot of possibilities and actually the vast majority of them aren't really being exploited to their full potential because people start to use digital tools all in the same way that you know traditional forms of media, so paper. So the first, for instance, you make an audio guide or a mobile app. The first audio guide is basic, or mobile app is basically an audio guide now yeah. on a mobile phone. So yeah. I think that, that why bother? Because actually there's so many more exciting, interesting things that you can do. And, and we've only sort of just pierced the, the surface of it. And yeah. also through, through doing this kind of collaborative work, there's so much opportunity to create connections between people in the past, and the present for the future, um, so it's it's a really exciting place to be, I yeah. think, and across across not only time but across continents and the world in general. An opportunity. Well, thank yeah. you so much, and I thank hope you. I hope you've caught some of uh, Sarah's enthusiasm and inspiration there. And um, thank you for your time, and look forward to enjoying the rest of the program today.